So I thought I'd film a little bit of a haul today and then kind of give you an update on the um, second use of the Lorac Pro 2 palette, which I have on my eyes again today. And then you guys really enjoy um, my little vloggy type stuff. So I've been vlogging around here and there and like some horse stuff. So I'll put that towards the end of the video. The haul isn't too too big. <laughs> so I thought I could... Um, I could do this little update in this haul and the vlog without the video being 25 minutes long. That's the goal anyway, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I had heck with the Lorac Pro 2 palette yesterday in my first impressions video. Granted it was a first impressions, I definitely need to use it more, but um, it was really difficult for me to blend out the um, plum shades and the navy shades and then I also had transferring with the snow shade up to the deep shades throughout my crease. Um, <clears throat> The plum and the navy shades were the two shades that I were, were, was the most excited about with this palette. So that was kind of a bummer to me. And then instead of using the jade shade, which I was also really intrigued by in this palette, because um, I know it was going to blend really nicely through the crease, I thought I would stick with matte shades through the crease so that I was able to see how those blended and be able to give you guys an opinion on it. So I did use um, beige on the lid and beige and snow mixed together underneath the brow bone which helped blend out the light brown shade which I used above um, right underneath that highlight um, shade and then I used charcoal um, in the immediate crease area and then cool gray and the look I think blended out a lot nicer today than it did yesterday granted I used the same same concealer primer that I used yesterday as well um, the look actually kinda came out a lot like the Dior Grage palette um, like a lot like it. It really mimics that, but I did have a lot better blending with that uh, shimmer through underneath the brow. Uh, I do blame the nectar and the buff shade that I put underneath that brow bone because they are a bit of a drier texture and they kind of lack a little bit of pigmentation I think. Um, I kind of blame those on the blending of the deeper shades so I, I definitely got to play with it more but I'm just um, giving you guys a little bit of an update because I did use it again today and it's definitely workable so if you're interested in the palette or you have you know some you're, you want to try it out or something you know stores have such good return policies nowadays that you know if you're interested enough in it buy it if you end up not liking it or anything you can always take it back so um, I'm still going to play with it. Uh, today was a good day with it, so and I want to use this jade shade and also the chrome shade, so um, it's not a total fail just yet. <laughs> now for some haul type stuff. I picked up this Bare Minerals uh, Ready 8 Pan Palette. It's the 8.0 Ready Palette, um, which I love. <laughs> I love to collect and I love Bare Minerals uh, Ready Eyeshadows, so I saw this one on QVC and I really haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, other than QVC, so I went ahead and picked it up and it is called the Nude Beach and it already the pack this is the type of packaging that it's kind of like NARS it gets really dirty um, I've only used this one time and the shades are really really pretty uh, but I think it's lacking a deep shade there's I think everything's I mean granted it's called uh, the Nude Beach so you're not gonna have anything too you know, extremely dark to make it, but to make it pretty versatile, I think it could have used a deeper shade. So that's like the darkest shade in the palette right there. And I did use it, and it was a fairly wearable nude type look, which I guess what the palette is going for. There's um, two mattes. This shade right here and this shade are mattes, kind of a bone um, beige shade and then a pinky toned beige shade. The rest all have a shimmer to them. So I picked up that. And then I remember watching. Um, Lisa Lisa D1 a while back talk about um, the Dior New Red blush and then uh, Natalie Flowerbomb had bought a couple of these Dior blushes as well so I I had looked at them a few times but I never pulled the trigger trigger and bought them um, so I finally went ahead went ahead and did that and so I picked up New Red which is a really really corally red shade and I also have that on my uh, cheeks today as a blush and if you don't know I do list everything that's on my face in each video in the description box down below so um, that is what that looks like and it is a really gorgeous shade it blend for being as intense as it looks like in the pan it did blend out really nicely so that is what it looks like it's a corally red shade and it has got a I would say it's got a satin finish to it not particularly matte matte it's like a satin finish I'd say and then the other shade that I picked up is uh, 846 Lucky Pink. And this is the one I was wearing in the video I filmed yesterday, which is the Lorac Pro 2 video. So, And it is a really, really pretty 
um, cool toned pink shade with kind of some silver little shimmers in it. I do think that it kind of deepened just a tiny bit when I put it on the cheeks, but for the most part, it's a really, really gorgeous uh, pink shade that's kind of right up my alley. <laughs> that is what it looks like right there. And then swatched. And again, it does have that, uh, it's got that satin finish to it, but it does have those little tiny silver glitters in it, which I don't think those really transfer onto the skin, so. And then I had bought in the uh, Skin Flash Radiance Booster Pen from Dior a while ago, and I tried it two days in a row. I didn't like it. I returned it. And when I was in the Sephora, again, at the Mall of America, <laughs> um, I had grabbed it again and was trying it out on my hands, and I was like, this consistency feels way different than the one I had tried prior about a year or, or so ago. And so I had asked the lady, I said, did Dior reformulate their their Radiance Booster pens or their, you know, their pen concealer? And she said, yes, they did. So <laughs> I went ahead and I bought the 00, shade 001. This is what the box looks like. And it does come in a little uh, fuzzy sleeve there. And it's just a uh, click pen. And this is what I was kind of using underneath my eyes up until I got the RMS concealer, which I've really been loving. Uh, this is great for... Um, light coverage, really light brightening coverage. Uh, if you have severely dark circles as far as underneath the eyes, I don't think it would cover that great for you. But if you like the highlighty type pens, um, it is a, it is uh, one of those type of products. But I tend to use a lot of those type of pens as concealers under the eyes because I like a real light um, feeling product under the eyes. And I, I was really enjoying it when I was using it um, before I started using the RMS concealer. But it's just a peachy toned concealer that comes with a brush applicator like that and the consistency is really nice again if you have something um, really deep to cover up I, I'm not sure you know you might want to use this over it as a brightening factor but I, I have really been liking it because I do like that thin consistency um, for products and stuff like that underneath the eyes so then another Lisa Lisa D1 inspired purchase it's the uh, your lips but better waterproof lip liner stain which actually I've been seeing a couple other folks on YouTube really enjoying these liners and I had wanted a couple of them but I just decided to get one to start out with to see how I liked it. Um, when I swatch them on my hands the swatches like stayed on my hands for like the rest of the day <laughs> so they they are long wearing. I haven't particularly worn this one just yet but uh, they're they're kind of spendy little liners so so I picked up the shade um, Nude Light Medium is what it's called and I know the box says something different yeah the box says buff nude which is totally random but in any event this is what it looks like it's just a really really pretty um, nude liner focus their camera and it does have an automatic uh, twist up and then it does got a little sharpener in the end so um, the color is really really gorgeous on this I'm hoping that it's it'll it'll wear off nicely you know hours down the line throughout the day as a border around my lips, but we'll see how it goes because if it does do that, wears off like that nicely without getting all goopy, I'm probably going to get a couple more. So, And then another random purchase when I was in the Sephora at the Mall of America, I saw this color. It's the Laura Mercier Rouge Nouveau Weightless Lip Color, and I think these are kind of new. I could totally be wrong, but I picked up the color Koi Cream, and I don't know, like, I've been into nudes, which is really random. <laughs> Even though I'm not wearing a nude today, I've just really been drawn towards um, nude lips lately. But uh, So I picked up this one, and it is a nude shade that will probably go great with the lip liner I just showed you. And this is what it looks like. And the color again is Koi. So a peachy uh, nude shade. It reminds me kind of of Tom Ford's Spanish Pink, I guess. But uh, really pretty, and it comes with the in the packaging like this. And it's it's got a glossy finish. It's pretty opaque. I've worn it a couple times and I've really been enjoying it. So this formula seems to be pretty nice. And then the next thing is something that I had been eyeing in Sephora stores, like a couple of them, because I've kind of been road tripping around. Um, and I just didn't pull the trigger on it. I thought, I, I don't need it. You know, I'm telling myself all these things. And then I watched Lisa, Lisa D1's Friday video last Friday, and it kind of just pushed me over the edge. I was like, I need to get that. <laughs> So I picked up the Laura Mercier Radiance Baked Body Bronzer. I already tossed the box on it, but uh, it's got this really pretty uh, little motif of this gal looking in the mirror on the cover, which I think is really cute. And then this is what the product looks like. It's showing up very true um, in the viewfinder. So uh, it does, it's a really bronzy, like a bronze, straight up bronzy bronze shade. It, it doesn't, I don't think it pulls 
too too orange and I don't think it pulls really really brown either uh, it, it I think it looks really pretty on the skin as well there's some chunky glitters in it but the glitter glitters don't transfer but the shimmer does transfer to the skin so that is what it looks like right there it's really pretty and it's it's you know it's pretty spendy product I think it's $55 on Sephora I of course use Mr. Rebates and Ebates um, but it does come with uh, 0.6 ounces of product which is a pretty hefty amount of product like most bronzers are around 0.3 ounces and stuff and I've been using it on my neck right here and on my face and then one other Sephora purchase because I thought it was cute and fairly inexpensive at $15 <laughs> I picked up the bronzed and blushing face palette and it is Sephora brand. It comes with a bronzer in Los Cabos. Um, this blush is called Blushing Pink and the last one is Coral Punch. So I think it's a really travel friendly one with your pink, your coral, and a bronzer in it and it's pretty pretty compact uh, palette here. And there are some swatches of it right there. I am yet to use the Sephora palette, but it does swatch quite pretty, so I'm kind of excited about that. So that's it for the, I think it's a small haul. I think it's fairly small. <laughs> um, anyway, if you're interested in some vlogging, my, my attempt at vlogging, um, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. So I'm headed out the door right now because I have to go fix fence. Some of my gildings broke out last night, <laughs> and so I gotta fix fence. <laughs> a lot of people are curious. Look at how green it is. Got green real quick. A lot of people seem to really want to know where my money comes from. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see there's a logo on the side of that semi there. <laughs> um, I started a company with one of my family members three years ago and it's pretty successful. So yeah, uh, self-made. <laughs> uh, nobody gives me any handouts. <laughs> Here's my dog, Diesel. He's a German Shepherd. I just had to take him to the vet last week because he got into a porcupine, which he likes to do at least 10 times a year, which is, I don't, I don't have heart to tie him up at night, <laughs> which I probably should, but, um, geez, it costs about 160 bucks every time I got to take him to the vet. <laughs> he doesn't learn. Look how blue the sky is. There's barely a breeze. It hasn't been a day this nice <laughs> since last year. <laughs> so this is the fence that we have to fix. And the wire is so old and brittle and rusted that it's hard to stretch it without it snapping again. This whole thing really needs to be replaced, actually. She's fixing the fence. <laughs> the fence is up now. So I see you gotta use this here as a wire player. 
roll the wire. Where's that wire stretcher at? Should I leave it on the ground? Oh, it's right there. Wire stretcher. <laughs> this is my mom. She looks like a farmer. <laughs> She's rolling up some old wire. Now I gotta roll up this big string of wire right here. And that fence is still kind of baggy right there, but it's so old. If I stretch it anymore, it's probably gonna break. So, yeah, anyway. like to see more dogs I guess so their short stop <laughs> cruiser diesel jixer we just got him fixing a bunch of fence a lot of fence and then we're gonna go catch up a couple geldings that were in that pasture that we fixed the fence on and we're gonna put them in their pen down there for the next couple months see how green it is okay there they go <laughs> I think my dad's gonna grill some chicken here. And then my mom are gonna have a little bit of a refreshment on the deck. <laughs> That's Chihuahua. Chi Chi, come here, little Chi Chi. Come on, little baby. Come on, little Chi boy. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez. There's Bullet. Right there. That's Bullet. He's a little old man. Hi, Bullet. Hi, Bully. Hi, Bully. This is what's going on right now. This Chihuahua will not get off of me. He's like so stuck to me because we are eating nachos and having a refreshment. Look at that face. Please, please, anything for a chip. <laughs> Get down. <sighs> now I'm walking down here. Oh, I just stuffed, <laughs> stuffed myself. I mean, my mom did. We ate some nachos and then we had ice cream. Probably should never did that before I'm gonna trim up one of my gelding's feet, but that's pretty there, tied up, my mom's old gelding. That's Blaze. <laughs> Freddy, he thinks he's part human. He's 20 years old, that guy right there. How do you guys like his brand? <laughs> that's not our brand, that's somebody else's brand. <laughs> These guys. These are my boys back there, I gotta catch them up here. So we're walking over to the barn right now. These are my two boys right here. Ticket and War Pony, War Doggy. They look like wild brumbies. But I'm gonna tr gotta trim their feet, give them a bridle path, trim their whiskers. They look like brand new boys here. Come tomorrow. <laughs> you guys can see them. I know I look like a silly farmer too, but that's okay, right? going over here. Let's take it. My sunglasses are polarized so I can't see the screen very good. Hopefully I'm in the shot. <laughs> or not me, but something back there. But More doggy. There. I just got in the house. We we're doing so many things today. And I just trimmed up my one of my main horses that I ride, I went and caught him and trimmed his feet up and he's got the biggest, 
thickest feet and oh, I need a nap. <laughs> and a big glass of water. <laughs> oh, shoot. So I gotta catch up. This is War Pony. I gotta trim his feet yet, too. But um, this guy here is his ticket. And I did his front feet yesterday. And now I have to do his back feet, which <laughs> are even harder than the front because when you pick up a back leg, they put a lot of weight on you. And yeah. My little legs are just a shaking, but I gotta do his feet too. And I gotta give him a bridal path and get them all beautiful. Well, not that they're beautiful already, but shine them up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him a haircut and stuff. So, so I put it on the fisheye. Hopefully, you guys can see better. We'll be distorted, but so I gotta comb out this guy's hair here. And then what we do is take and put his ear back in about right here. I'll take and I'll shave it. Oh, you can't even see. Shave it to a, there's a little point on the bone right there so that his halter and his bridle lean nicely. And we gotta get rid of some of that hair and his ears. Looks like a winter hair. And then we gotta get rid of these whiskers. And then we have to go down here and cut off this hair. He's gonna look like a brand new man when I'm done with him. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I trimmed up his feet yesterday. They were splitting up the middle, so um, I gotta do the back ones yet. And that's that's gonna wipe me out. <laughs> I'll comb his hair here. You guys wanna know what kind of brush I got? It's a showman brush. It's a pretty handy one. I actually just got this one. you guys want to see some products this is gonna be kind of funny this is what since his feet are kind of cracking and stuff this is what I've been putting on his feet it's hoof flex therapeutic condition original liquid treats dry and crack and chipping breathable moisture barrier <laughs> so I just think it's kind of funny because these guys got beautifying products as well you know and then this stuff here is the bomb for their hair I'll spray it on him and show you guys the after effect but this stuff is awesome it's Shoshin show ring shine original hair polish and detangler so i'll spray his mane and maybe a little bit on his rump and i gotta comb out his tail he's got some pocketbirds in there and stuff but uh so we have a i got an automatic clipper here um and i'll take his ears hopefully you guys can see put him back like that and then i'll take this point right here there There's it up there. Well, right there. And then they have a knob right here between their ears, kind of, that's kind of a gauge as to how far to go forward. But I'll take my little clipper here and give them a buzz cut. <laughs> And his halter and his bridle when I go riding will sit nicely up on there. I'm gonna buzz off some of his foot hair here.
Oh, they're on fire. Holy crap. I got one foot left right there. His hair's all nice. His tail's all nice. Here's my mom. <laughs> He's all cleaned up, all shined up, this boy. We're gonna go for a ride, but it's getting late now and my whole body feels like a, a rubber band. Or I feel like a, <laughs> I feel like a limp noodle, like nothing works. <laughs> like jelly, there you go, there's the word. My body feels like jelly. <laughs> anyway, there's Freddy, right there. There's War Pony, he's mad. He says, hey, how come they get to eat grass? What about me? His belly is so big, you guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of workouts together, me and him, to get in shape. <laughs> and this is Ticket, and I, we raised, and I trained him myself. I've been riding him for, since he was a two year old. So, he's 11, or is he 12? Riding him for about 10 years. <laughs> He's actually the one when he was a three-year-old, we were out riding in some hills, and he, uh, whoever, who I was riding with, they left me, and he didn't want to cross a creek, so I was going to turn back and just go back, and he, he lost it and turned the crank on me, and this boy here, I tell you what, he can, he can buck, <laughs> but anyway, out of all the horses that I've rode, all the colts, everything that I've been on, which has been probably hundreds, He's one of two that have ever gotten me out of the saddle. <laughs> yeah, but I landed on my head. I, I'm actually pretty lucky, but um, to rip the muscle off my right shoulder and tore some stuff in my in my uh, body here, so I'm kind of messed up. That's why I have a hard time leaning forward and down into a mirror to put on makeup. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let this guy have a couple more bites of grass, and then I'm going to pitch him some hay there and tomorrow I suppose I'll clean up the war pony that black horse behind the brown one the bay there and then probably go for a ride over yonder tomorrow so see you guys later bye <laughs>